Okay. So, I am going to be drawing a new superhero. We'll see how that works. Of course, my brother stole my good pencil. So, I shall work with this one. So, I'm going to just start with a reference picture. Just something to get an idea of how this character is probably going to look. I think that cheek jawbone needs to be lowered. Think about a very squared face for this character. Just a very fairly static pose. It says I'm live. Unfortunately, I'm cutting out a lot of the structure work because I'm just trying to quickly get something down. I wish I wish I knew how to uh, get Discord to record uh, in live stream. Still new to this. I want my music to be playing too, but I don't know how to do that yet. You could type it. Yes, I'm responding to people on Discord. For anyone not on the Discord or watching later. So there's just a rough body. And then we legs. I am just rough estimating things. Now, I always like starting with faces because I'm a face person. Don't know about other people. I muted Discord for a second because I wanted to see if we were coming out of uh, Aaron's stream or not. If you know how to do it, I will correct it. Hello, Battlestar and Raptor. <laughs> I see my Kiwi has uh, shown up. Now I'm going to go for rather rounded, bright-eyed innocence, even though he's a bit of a glory hound. He's not exactly a grizzled veteran. Still love my electric eraser. Eyes are not even. I may actually have to do my face structure. I 
Because I've got one eye good, and then the other eye is just, nope. So I was told to have a young new hero. So I'm guessing that this char character is going to probably be around 16. I'm almost thinking football player, maybe. Or basketball, maybe, for a slimmer look. I think football would probably be a little too bulky. I'm not familiar with lacrosse enough. Fair enough. Though, nothing says that it can't. Do him as a hockey player with a couple of missing teeth. <laughs> Did I just hear to make him a, a gorilla? <laughs> I don't know if I want to try doing a stylized art style or stick to what I normally do. Well, if I do a style, I'm thinking of doing something that would be like this would be the, the jawline. A lot sharper lines, and I wouldn't round them out. Where, like, I'd have just basically keep it sharp. Not sure. I probably should look up uh, Sentinels of the Multiverse, which is what this character is being based into. My batteries are dying. When all else fails, google.com. We start sentence of the multiverse, put guess just click on images and bam. Photo references galore. Not on the live stream, unfortunately, but still. Ooh, I like that bottom picture you sent me, Raptor. 
I should make my own server just for streaming like this. And I'm kind of seeing a bit of a... We don't even know if that's Stalin's actual head, a clone, or whatever. We just know it's called Mecha Stalin. So, not that people can see it, but the, the bottom picture that was sent to me, I'm looking at the bottom left character. I'm looking at his face as an example of the style I was looking for, where it's very squared. Now, my question is, would this character even bother with a uh, secret identity or not? Whatever you think might net him more views, because remember, character, you know, superheroes that have that secret identity, people, you know, the crowd might eat into that a little bit. So whatever you know, strategy he goes with. Actually, I'm thinking about shrinking the ears a little bit. What I normally do. I should look at Stephen's artwork of Stephen, not Stephen, uh, David, for a bit of this. Ears should be a lot lower. Okay, I messed up on the ears completely. That's what an eraser's for, right? Because ears should be going from the bottom of the nose. Which would be right here, up to there. I like how the left ear turned out. Uh, drink my reference picture down again. <coughs> okay.
Yeah, there goes my pencil. Yeah. Ow. There we go. And if it helps, I can draw feet. I see that up there. That one went a little crazy. <coughs> hmm, I have five people viewing now. <laughs> Apparently now the person doesn't want me to draw thinky feet. <laughs> so now that my, I have that question besides the fact that my camera's out of focus. Is that any better? Because uh, apparently mine, I have to manually focus it. Yay me. Eh, it's a webcam. It was cheap. It works. I keep knocking my headset off. Yeah, that didn't work. I was trying to switch it over so I could work with a different microphone. I'm attempting something new.
Ah, hey, Lysander. This is actually a character I'm just making up on the fly now because I had an idea for him. His name is his superhero name is Halo because he projects light um, and he uses it as like force blasts to fly, project illusions. Um, he is for a Sentinels of the Multiverse RPG. And he's a very flamboyant showboat. I actually like how the teeth came out for once. Huh. Not that you guys can probably see it. Let's try another style, stylized thing. Don't know until I try, right? Yeah, I should make a Discord channel just for when I do this. Took a lot of years of practice and just learning how to do it. I probably I actually want to do a um series of these streams where I'm going to teach how to draw the basics and stuff compared to what I'm doing here where I'm just doodling. Uh, not fun. Not that fan much of a fan of that much chin. Trying to draw outside of my usual style right now. Do something a little different. Okay, my that program's being a pain on this one. For my reference. There we go. How do they do the jaw in this reference picture? I'm trying to copy an already existing art style. Or at least take inspiration from, I should say, not necessarily copy, copy. It actually isn't too far off from it. Minus the ears, probably, but everyone does ears their own way. Blah. No. And I'm getting a bloop bloop. Okay, nothing important. I'm halfway thinking he, this guy probably is not interested in a secret identity. He 
He's a star athlete from his school, developed powers, and decided he'd get more fame from being a superhero. Not getting the detail I want. Someone took my good pencil. And you know who you are. Build up these shoulder muscles just a little bit. I think that that looks a little bit better. Let's angle those pecs a little bit more. <laughs> I will look at that link later, uh, Kiwi. I really probably should learn how to draw digitally. I could get crisper lines if I did it. Well, I could also just ink digitally as well. I've done it before. It's just usually a pain. It can take a lot of time to digitally ink. I've done it before. And I'm actually thinking a very simplistic black and white costume for him. Halfway time, just draw him in his everyday clothes on this picture and then do another one with his uniform. I'm going to do that. You're fine. Mm. My yawning, on the other hand. Oof.
Mm, my brother has muted and deafened himself. So for right now, build up the body. Then worry about the clothing attire later. And I'm guessing my voice is coming over fine over the YouTube. Okay. I just want to make sure that, you know, that part of the recording is coming out fine, at least. I will find a way eventually to, you know, connect Discord and YouTube. Or maybe I'll do this through Twitch or something. I don't know. I also intend to make a Discord channel just for when I do this and post the link in the description so people can join me on Discord and not be completely left out. I'm just happy my hands are not shaking while I'm doing this. Time to recenter. Oh, I got four viewers again. I had three for a while. Maybe. Wait, you left? <gasps> Well, just, just remember, Halo's the, the real hero of the story, right? Totally. Yeah, especially if you ask him. Everyone else is just his sidekicks. His feet are off the paper. I could, I could draw his feet on the side. What's wrong with feet? There you go, foot. <laughs> ha. I'm sorry, but I, I, I like George in that game. He's like just smart enough to now not be dumb. And he's willing to, you know, 
give a sacrifice for the greater cause. Well, he wasn't exactly dumb beforehand. Monitored. Yeah, monitored. Yeah, for the streamer people, we are talking about George from what was it? Metal, Metal Gear Rising. Metal Gear Rising. Very good game. Hmm. I've. It seemed like a pretty solid game to me. But I will state that apparently George has another role in a future game. Apparently he goes to the same university that the girl does. Yeah, that Sunny does. And George is 12, I think. Yeah, they're right around the same age. Even though I took all that time on that foot, I'm just going to remove it. <laughs> the joke is over. The joke is over. Okay, this mouth is bugging me. Not liking that mouth, but meh. I'm also not liking how the top of his hair is coming out. Okay, see ya, Kiwi. Um, his weird style of speak speech isn't, but the English dub they put in additional lines that's not in the Japanese original version. Well, how else do you? They probably did a um a hybrid Japanese accent. Because Ninja Turtles were more popular over here. Correct. I mean, they were. And she, she looks over and sees him off in the distance and throws him a kiss. And he does like a dodge roll out of the way and grabs his sword. And someone calls in and is like, is, is something going on? Your heart rate looks like you're in battle. And he's like, I think I just dodged a bullet. And apparently it's like a Japanese joke about not catching a kiss that's thrown to you because it's considered cheating on your wife. <laughs> I thought she had like some mind control power or something with that kiss because there was like a little, she like, Blew the kiss, and there was like a little animation of a heart near her hand when she did it. Funny thing is, you say that that was considered cheating on your wife in Japan. Although, of course, their society has changed, but originally Japanese had um, mistresses that would be on opposite sides of the house, like that would like keep them from knowing the other ones there or something. So someone could be married, 
have a mistress in um, Japan. They would have their wife and they would probably have two mistresses, one on the west side and one on the east side. Of course, it also wasn't a big thing to big deal to go off to uh, brothels as well. A married man could go and it wasn't considered an issue. Yeah, it was just mentioned that he went to the same place that she was. Mm-hmm. They address a lot of nice issues in there, and the way they address them was well done. So a sequel to Metal Gear Rising would actually be pretty neat, if they could keep the same theme. Like they, like I heard some people say, there's like they they wrapped up the story nicely. And it's like, kind of, they wrapped up like that that incident. Like Raiden's story, the protagonist. Like the game ends. And the final line in the game is Raiden saying, "I have my own war to fight," as he as he's about to fight some more enemies. So it's like there's still more to tell about like with this character. There may be more to tell with that character, but that doesn't mean that the game itself didn't have a good ending. Something can still have a good ending and have the potential to have a continuation. Well, I mean, the person I was talking to said that um, they couldn't go anywhere because of how they wrapped up the story. I got to the ending and I was like, they, they wrapped up this part of the story, but there's still a lot of places you could go with the character. You could still go with another character, say... George or someone else takes up that mantle. You don't know. But you just get what I'm saying. They could pick any any new cyborg from the cast. Um, he might do combat, but he's our George has already pretty much stated that he didn't want to kill, so he'd be in a different form of something than um, what is it, Raiden? Raiden. Yeah. Oop! I lost a person. Uh, Tom left a while ago. But, but then again, to be honest, I don't know who all four people were. Because I doubt that my brother is watching anymore. He might be, I don't know. Any... That's because I was complaining and they felt guilty. <laughs> <laughs> now, I was thinking that this character would probably have a... Um, when, he, when he activates it, of course, as one of his abilities would be a... Um, basically a halo of light around him that would be like a force field that protects him from most things probably a defensive action at that point but yeah uh, sort of hard light construct 
Mm-hmm. Just obviously not with the same refinement that they relay as. Big ZD this, big ZD that. Is there anything else you live for? I think the eyes are actually too big. I think that's my issue. Probably gonna hate this hand, but whatever. Step one, fingers are too long, thumb is too short. Hands are a pain. Do a summoning character? Yeah, a double summoning character. Oh, demon summoning. Okay. So he summons. Okay, so let me get this straight. He's going to summon a demon. I'm going to do a burst of light, and the demon just kind of fries. Right? <laughs> Just by looking at my character. There's something wrong with this character, and I can't quite put my finger on it. But I already know he's going to have an overshirt. Yeah, something about the face is bugging me. But I mean, I'm trying a different art style. OK. 
Could the eyes be down too low? Skull there. Eyes should be halfway. Yep, they're down too low. That's what's been bugging me. Eyebrows are fine. Forehead might actually need to go up a little bit. Then again, he is younger. Younger people normally have more for or less forehead, more hair. <laughs> huh. Thank you, Tsaiga. Oh, that's Hunter. That's ah. Hunter. He's the devil summoner. Call him out. Call him the devil summoner. Oh. So he likes to play with the devil. I hope he didn't make any deals. But yeah, I like drawing characters, so um, if you need help. <laughs> Next time I should definitely get my own Discord server up for this, huh? Unless you really want to invite him into this one. But I think that'd be more... Yeah. I could also move to a different server, too. Something's just not coming out right with this picture. But sometimes you just need to keep plugging on. Oh, so he wants to be full demon. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, <wait. Stupid hands. This is not coming out as good as I would like. You win some, you lose some. Blah, 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 pant leg, pant leg, pant leg, blah, blah, blah. There we go. <laughs> pant leg, blah, done. Oh, that's my electric eraser. Helps me get really fine uh, erasing work done. Like, right here. However, the batteries are slowly dying on the thing. I don't think Nathan has access to your Monster Hunter one, does he? But he, like, just joined Discord, like, the other day. Yeah. Well, no, he's had Discord beforehand. He just got back on it the other day.
Separate as I did all this muscle structure work, you're not going to see most of it. So stop being so picky about it, right? Yay, funky hands. I just don't care anymore. It's getting too late for me to care. I'll hate myself in the morning. I'm going to convince myself that this is a great piece of artwork so I can go to bed later, right? That's what I do. And then wake up in the morning and go, what was I thinking? <laughs> I like it as a good base, but it needs work. Oh, the electric eraser? Just a little thing. Has an eraser nib at the end and just spins it. It's really useful. If you do artwork, I recommend it. A lot of people find it entertaining because it buzzes. Burns your skin or um, my hands got so dried out from using it so much my knuckles cracked in multiple places on each hand. Yep. So it's being like hell to me. Yep. Uh, my brother has the same problem, except he has it with antibacterial soap. He's allergic to the antibacterial parts. Interesting. Hunter, type out SMT3. Or else you're lying. Yeah, I can. <laughs> <laughs> Liar. Well, if next time I will have it pick up from my the microphone from my um webcam itself and then have it go through my speakers the sounds and stuff and hope that picks it up i'm still learning how to do this stuff i've never live streamed or own or used the webcam before in my life this is the second time i've live streamed so really don't like that. And I can't quite put my hand on why I don't like his face. Okay, so his knees are probably right about here instead. You don't lie, you just don't always tell the full truth, right? Oh, that was a wrong way off. Oh, my poor thing. I now push down on it and the, the thing stops spinning.
you accidentally doubled your audio. Whoops. How'd you manage to do that? Because I don't know what I'm doing. Should buy new erasers. This thing's old and getting dry. Oh, I didn't mean to erase those lines. Just trying to neaten it up. Into clicking it into the new one. Epic clip moment. But yeah, Hunter, or I should say Tsaiga, because that's your name on here. Um, if you want me to draw your character, um, I'll set up a Discord next time and we can get on Discord together sometime and you can describe your character to me. If you want. That's up to you. It's uh, my brother's. Lord Squeak, whose name is still Nathan Bloodguard. He needs to change it to Squeak. Squeak, 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 squeak. <laughs> squeak, squeak. Ooh, you are mean. I know. Doesn't mean I can't pick on you for it. Yep. Hunter wanted to kill me over this tweet. He, he felt he was being slandered. You said it, so yes, it's slander. But yeah, I also want my music to be playing in the in the video. I mean, I can always edit the video and add it in later, but I'm already at an hour for this. <laughs> Here's a tweet. I go, my friend Nina is the only person in the world who sees me and is like, hmm, I'll be nice to her. And my only reaction is, yes, I can and will bully her. I'll crack one day, but enjoy it while it lasts. And I go, I'll crack your skull open. I'm halfway tempted to give him a choker. I don't know why. I feel like that's more of like a goth thing. That, that I feel like that's a bit more on like a goth thing. Um, depends upon the choker. If it's like dog collar style, probably. I could also give them like dog tags or something just to be that. Or he just thinks it's cool. Right. Well, it's because he doesn't really have the intention of it, but he does it because he's like, it looks cool kind of thing. Mm hmm.
this desk. <laughs> I don't know. Does it look familiar now? With the glue bottle reminiscence of when a glue bottle leaked and I had to rip it off. <laughs> no oh. No. Oh. I happened to just be gluing something over here, put the glue bottle down for a little bit, came back, and the glue had oozed out of the bottom because the interior container broke. I was, like, squeezing out what I thought was the last little dribbles, and apparently there was more in there. <laughs> yep. It crushed the bottom and pinched it and ripped it open. But yeah, I would presume that this character here probably would have the tough guy persona he, he'd want to show. He's cool, he's tough, whether he is or not is a different story. Actually, the other shoulder's up more. I'm doing these wrinkles backwards. Because they originate from here. Consistency, it helps. Question, would there be a specific high school possibly for gifted students? Yes, but it is kind of like a prep school. You need to go there kind of thing. Uh, more of a private school. So if you're in a richer family, you might have gone there. Um, it, it, um, I don't know. I guess he strikes me as like kind of a uh, brat style character. So oh, yeah. It's not like super duper rich kind of thing, but you do need to be more like upper middle class to go to that school. I wouldn't say he's from a rich family, but I'm pretty certain that he has opportunities. Hmm. He's not, not rich, but definitely more privileged than the average person. Probably. And he probably tries to basically abuse his abilities to get attention. I would probably say his parents probably ignore him, which is why he desires so much attention. That's a good, that is not a bad, uh, what they call a, uh, nice, like, ooh, I should introduce him. You went quiet. Yeah, I did. Okay. Kind of bully hunter into joining the. Then you can join in on the discussion. I don't care. And he goes, you fucking go quiet for him too, Lamau. Shitty Mike. I yell, fuck you. And he goes, I don't have a webcam. Well, I don't know how good my webcam microphone is. It's literally like um, a $10 kit that I bought from my old workplace. So it could
I mean, he could just join and listen in for all I care. Because then at least he'd know what the conversation's about that's not being recorded. Boom. Oh, yeah, good idea. <laughs> Has joined the battle bus. Hunter, if you uh, if you mention my uh, my mic again, uh, I'm coming down the boom to strangle you. Bloom and those are some tough words. Eh, eh, maybe. <laughs> Yeah, so long as the mic doesn't blow my ears out, I, I don't I don't really don't care. It really doesn't matter to me. As long as there's no feedback loop, because I can results. Cause I'm gonna guess he's probably wearing his school jacket here, his undershirt. Yep, I remember the four four man Sentinels team in the deck uh, uh, that deck. Yep. Um, two of them are named Doctor Medico and Mace, and in their in the podcast episode that talks about their origin, um, they talk about this thing called the Omega Particle. I don't remember where it came from, other than it was some kind of laboratory. Something went wrong. It exploded. The guy who discovered it went missing. Um, and the, uh, from what I remember, the particle was spread to the atmosphere. Now, because of the half-life of the particle, um, oh, and the, the factory was supposedly on the verge of, like, an infinite energy breakthrough, but because of the half-life of the particle, it usually dies before it floats back down to Earth. And it has been in the atmosphere for just decades, at least, well, not decades, but for years. For a while. Like, like it's never going to stop coming down. It doesn't do anything. Like, if it lands on you, you're fine. You can get blasted with a million of these things and you're fine. But there's a one in a billion chance that if it lands in water or some kind of suitable liquid, then for a brief period, it can cause the changes to a person that resulted in mainstay and Dr. Medico. Specifically with those two, um, they went to the same high school. Uh, Dr. Medico was getting bullied and he got shoved into a puddle of mud. And his friend Mainstay came over to help him. You know, Dr. Medico was the typical nerd. Mainstay was the typical jock. And the bullies shoved him in the puddle too and they laughed and walked off. And what neither of them knew, and what is arguably impossible to track, is that one of those Omega particles hit that puddle at that time. <clears throat> and the reaction <laughs> happened, essentially turning them, you know. And the changes were gradual. They were not instant. But over time, Mainstay bulked out to his ridiculous size and Dr. Medico turned into a being eventually. So that oh and I'm also saying that the people who come from that kind of origin have happened way more since the Oblivion event because whatever it was that Oblivion did to this world, it sort of kicked those particles in high gear. was trying to eat the world after all. Mm. Let me go destroy it. He probably accelerated their, their fall. Right. Or simply the reaction they have when they do fall. Or, like yeah, or he increased their uh, energized state so that they're more likely to actually land on someone and empower them. Buzz, 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 buzz. 
Put him. Someone left. You scared him away. You can be full out invited as far as I'm concerned. Well, not exactly being, you know, super exciting at the moment. He claimed he was banned. I do know the temporary links do, like, supposedly it's only when he leaves the call that he gets. The link didn't expire, did it? You can set it so the link never expires. I might actually have to get up, leave for a moment, and get new batteries. That's probably the biggest problem with this thing. Yeah, you're going to have to pardon me as I uh, go get some new triple A's. I'll be right back. So how much of my drawing drew itself while it was gone? Oh, okay. Good, good. Ooh. I mean, eek, don't look. I was almost thinking about doing that, but I don't think that he would. Let me guess, just have one sleeve ripped, and he's only one of those, half half of those people, yeah. right? Yeah, he's not, he's not like, the full like, like, he only has two piercings on one side, and uh, and he has piercings on one side of his face, so I might as well just have that sleeve ripped off, right? <laughs> Let me guess, you're way overthinking this, dude. Boodle. Pretty cool looking uh, picture there. Literally just stolen from Shin Megami Tensei. I do like, I do like the Shin Megami Tensei art. I gotta say. Thing is, I can always base off of that and then do stuff that's different. Just because it's based off of that doesn't mean that it's going to be that in the end. Oh, much better.
I actually have to take off my wedding band when I'm drawing. Otherwise, when I'm wiping away, I'll just scratch the paper and then it's like divot. Keep being told I'm weird for doing so. I have to take it off when I wash my hands because otherwise it just falls off my hand anyways. Well, my wedding band doesn't actually fit me very well. Neither one. I do not know if my head's in the way, but drawing first, right? I also hate the fact that it's upside down. I wish I could like rotate the camera. Yeah, I think I need a length in his head. No, you're fine. I'm just using this time to actually get some creativeness done. I've been wanting to do something creative for a while and just, nope, can't do it yet. Can't do it now. Oh, hand shaking. Or the ever popular getting ready for my move, or hi, I'm going to. <laughs> Put the shield on the front of the Very seriously, me. I don't. 
Well, as as GM, it, isn't it your job to kind of sort of um kill the players? In a sense. Maybe. I just realized that this arm should be more like that. Behind him, not in front of him. That should actually go out like that, and then there we go. A little bit of foreshortening. <sighs> that looks weird, too. Might need to exaggerate it more. Or do so do something in between the two extremes. Hey, how, let's think about that. Better, 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 butter, parquet. I can't help myself. The puns, the puns. Can I sacrifice the same for a ritual? Answer. It's not recommended. Am I about to get raided? Nope. I thought I was about to have a Shinobi raid. Last time I did this kind of thing, my cat invaded the board. Yep. But she was extra fluffy, so, you know, it all worked. Just started attacking my hand and biting me, and then I decided to, nope, you're off. You're off the air. Kicks off the show. Otherwise, she would have made a great, excellent uh, guest star, right? So, there we go. Street clothes. Whatever. Good enough.
Shinobi, you know better. Why don't you sit here, huh? Sit right here. Then you won't bother me. And I'm thinking he has blonde hair. Though I'm not sure if he dyes any part of his hair. I hear someone. I got to turn up their volume. I don't hear anyone. I thought I heard Hunter, but I had to turn up his volume. Hunter, speak. Dog. Hmm. I thought I heard someone speaking. Nothing. Might have been you then. Or were you I quiet? You can't speak? Nope. Wait. Uh. Hello, strange person who can't speak. And this is for Nathan. Though he probably already got the message. Or Lord Squeak, 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 Squeak. Squeak, Squeak. There we go. Did you ban someone again? Someone has joined. Stay a while and listen. <laughs> so. There we go. First half. Mm, that's what I was thinking. He's close cropped from pretty much the the, I think it's called like the plate of the of the head, around, and then just the top part is spiked up. Wait until I draw him with wet hair. <laughs> right. <laughs> Dawn. I have a funny feeling that the material would puff up there. Really, Squeak? Really?
<laughs> saw another uh thought I saw another Shinobi. Shinobi. Why is it I halfway suspect that his piercings are done by himself or self done? Because he's only 16. He's not supposed to have piercings or piercers aren't supposed to do piercings on 16 year olds without parental permission. Then again, it's. Oh, yeah. Probably lied. I could totally see that. There, I think I might have a awakened tiny one. I'm going to go check on something, so I shall be right back. Sorry about that. Kind of watching my niece. I can say that now. Aha. Kind of weird having a niece. That's what happens when you marry into it, right? I don't think there's such a thing as a niece in law. Oh, okay. And as long I figured as long as I don't use names or give exact locations, it's not that big of a deal. Honor and I don't care when it comes to that, but we won't we won't say your stuff. Mm, well, I figured it's internet. This is being broadcast live. <laughs> Squeaks causing trouble. Hmm. I'm thinking flying pose. <clears throat> Something a little bit more dynamic, maybe. What do you think, Raptor? Should I do a dynamic pose with him in his costume or just do like face turnaround and different expressions? Because like right now you can't you don't won't know the back of his head for all you know, that could be a mohawk that goes all the way back. A dynamite pose? Mm. 
Mm, people do recognize faces. They recognize faces and silhouettes. Mm. I'll have to sketch ideas for different um, costumes later. I need to do a profile. I suck at doing profiles. That just means I need to work on them, right? And stop avoiding it. Ah, is that how that goes? Fine, be that way. Wow, this is coming out horrible, but I'm doing it anyways. I think I know what I don't like about this face. I'm trying to draw the individual teeth when I normally don't.
Yeah, I just looked at reference materials. Part of it is I'm not used to drawing profiles, and the other part is that I'm trying to draw in a different style already. Mm -hmm. Instead of heroes? The question is how many people would want to do a super villain? Well, fine, be that way. There's no guarantee we're even doing that campaign. That's not what my reference says. Let's do a compromise somewhere in the middle. <laughs> CNN headline Archaeologists have uncovered the first temple to an important pre Hispanic deity known as the Flayed Lord, who is represented by a skinless corpse. Here is an artifact from that temple. And somebody called the comments, Y'all need to put that shit right the fuck back now. <laughs> Y'all want to get cursed? That's how we get cursed.
a god, not an emperor, and he's represented by a skinless corpse. Also, the emperor would search you from the, from the Imperium, and you know it. Ow, ow, ow. Mm. That's what I get for trying to back my chair up with my knees. Ow, that hurt. Don't do that. But I totally deserved it. I mean, self-punishment and all, right? What? I don't know. What? Who are you? What am I doing again? Let me guess, I'm going to have to now draw one picture with him with wet hair, huh? No? no? So you can't see the retardedness of his hair all flopped in his face? Where, where, where'd everyone go? I can't see. Uh, have you looked at your hair? <laughs> what? I probably shouldn't use it, but I'm not meaning it in that manner. Call it it's a it's a habit from my heathen days. I'm halfway coming up with a story for why he has his piercings. Here's my funny draft of why he has his piercings. It was a bet to see if his parents would even notice. His parents still haven't noticed. <laughs> <laughs> You like that, though? His parents still haven't noticed. Tells you how much his parents uh, pay attention to him, right? I actually like how this side view war came out. A little too hooked there. There we go. Round that out. I actually don't mind that as a side profile. I think it's the first side profile I've drawn that I actually like until I wake up tomorrow. Then I will probably hate it and think about what, what was I thinking, right? Us artists are our own worst critics. You can't be any worse than, than the creator themselves. Trust me, we all see the mistakes that don't exist, huh? Technically, writing is a form of art. It's just this very specific form. So anyone who says that a writer is not an artist is wrong. You are an artist, just you're a specific kind of artist. You draw your pic your pictures with words. It's kind of like a painter is still an artist. They just draw their pictures with paint. Someone who does the... Uh, 
decorative blown glass is an artist. Art is everywhere. I have a Shinobi. Hi, Shinobi. Say, look at the camera and say hi. I see her. But you're not supposed to be in. Hi, girl. Cat butt. The internet has now been graced with Shinobi's cat butt. She is my guest star. Right? Right, girl? I uh, that you're a regular uh, secondary cast character. Oh, sorry. You're the cat. You're the primary character of this story. Right? <laughs> I, call him, I call him no ball dolly. Not his fault. I'm not getting any fucking shit done. <laughs> I'm, getting, I'm getting some done, but I keep getting distracted. I, I've made mm. progress. <laughs> That's all. Oh, I come up with a thousand and two different nicknames for my, my little shinobi, my little troublemaker, my ball of fluff and love. That reminds me of this like comic I saw where it's like these two cats in a park. And one was like, my master calls me Jeffrey. What's your call? And it's a flashback and it's this girl. Come here, sweetum. Come here, little Fluffy. Come here, Toby. And the cat just looks down and goes, I don't know what my name is. Yeah, cats always acquire a very numerous number of uh, nicknames. Right, Fluff? Yeah. So, yeah, side view. What do you think of the hairstyle now? Should I turn it around the other way so it's not upside down? It still looks stupid. <laughs> It's just long enough to be grabbable hair, so when the villain, you know, knocks my character around, he can pick him up by the hair. Oh, that's perfect. I'm so glad you said that, because the villain I have planned would absolutely do that just to make fun of his stupid hair. Not that her hair is any better, but still. Of course, he probably would, you know, get thrown, thrown across the room, smashed through a wall, and then we'd stand up and go, Do you know how long I work on this hair? <laughs> and then... And then you messed up my hair. <laughs> Stop in the middle. <laughs> I could see that happening if the villain would let him. <laughs> oh god, I, I don't know if you know, but there's a character from JoJo's called uh, uh, Josuke Higashita. He is the main character of the fourth part, and he, he his hair is always in a pompadour, like a high school student. 
and when you first meet him, he's like, in the first interaction you see with him, he's like all timid, and just kind of like letting these bullies walk all over him, and then one of them insults his hair, so, oh yeah, he's from 1999, not like the 50s or anything, so, you know, the pompadour is really out of place, so one of them insults his hair, and he, he instantly uses his superpowers to break the guy's face and then reassemble it in a way that looks different and scare off all the other ones. I know there are more times. Oh, yeah. There's also another guy whose superpower is being able to, like, essentially control everything. It's called Heaven's Door. It can summon a book uh, for any person he wants it to. If he, whatever he writes in that book becomes canon to your life. He does this for Josuke, uh, and insults his hair while doing it, and because Josuke was so pissed off, he just ignored the superpower and beat the shit out of him. <laughs> and, and let me guess, the other guy's like, how did that happen? He dropped a briefcase on him at one point in time and lost sight of him, and because he was so blinded by rage, he started running around the rubble looking for him, which led to my favorite line in the whole show. Come out, you punk bitch! Yeah, that was it. Josuke had to, had to see the book, and he was so blinded by rage that it didn't work. Yeah, before it got retconned into being completely different. What up? I know there's another time when he did the hair thing. I, I'm pretty sure there are at least two times when his hair gets insulted, or three times when his hair gets insulted. I don't think that this character would necessarily care if you insult his hair, but you know, insulting his hair and then throwing him probably across the room, he'd probably be a little miffed because you threw him, held him up by his hair. <laughs> But he's probably more likely to say something about it rather than, you know, just blind rage. I feel like there was another episode. I'm trying to remember now. I'm not good at thinking. Hold out. I don't think it was Tomiko's. I don't think it was Yukaku. I don't think it was Shigechi. The only problem with doing it this way is the fact that it's upside down. I don't think it's Keisho either. Yeah, that's the one thing. If you could find a way to invert the camera, that would work. Really Unfortunately, good. without creating like a bar and having it swing the other way, I can't. Because it's kind of just clipped to the top of my monitor. If I could physically, you know, flip the camera upside down while leaving the clip where it is, it'd be perfect. Because the angle's good, just not the upside downness. What would be better is if I could somehow have it when I live stream to have the live stream flip it right side up. But I'm actually just impressed that, that YouTube registers my digital, my camera thingy, webcam. Because no other program seems to register it. Hmm? Boom! Someone left. Yep. yep. And he's back. Someone give him a permanent link.
actually probably should look at my references see if they do the same thing no they don't but they also don't have any well his face is kind of at the same angle Do you deserve a break? No. That's what I thought. Still doing it. Well, fine, be that way. Fine. I really probably should show my work, like, you know, math class, but I never showed my work in math class either. <laughs> yeah, I still remember when a teacher tried to tell me to show my work or they'd fail me. Didn't work out so well for them. They never asked me to show my work ever again. <laughs> Except for when I was proving the rule book wrong, their, their uh, answer book wrong. Then they wanted me to show my work. And then me and Squeak went up to the board, showed our work, and went, circled the same spot on each of our problems and went, this is where y'all went wrong. We should have gotten extra credit for that. An automatic pass or something. I mean, come on. We corrected the rule book. I did that one. I think. can't really remember. Yeah, well, the funny thing is, is everyone else in the class got the same answer as the rule book. I wonder why. They probably just looked at the back of the book. It was one of those questions that were in the, the answer was in the back of the book. But me and Squeak don't. I don't remember if it was an easy mistake. I don't know why I'm taking so long determining the, the shape of the head where I'm just going to plop the hair on top and whatever. Yeah, Omega actually thinks I draw girls better than uh, than I do guys. How does he keep getting disconnected? I mean, I'm not kicking him or anything. Kick. Kick. I mean, uh, I have a, a, a foolproof alibi. You guys could see me actively drawing at that time, right?
You call me you. You call me you. Oh. Okay, you, you, insult, insert insult here. <laughs> oh, okay. I've given them police state, nationalistic zeal, authoritarian, xenophobe, and militarist. We're doing... Someone give him a perma invite. We could. That I'm fine with moving there. Not a temporary ban you every time you turn around. How about some water? Oh, you're right. How about some toilet paper? You know, you really probably should get some more toilet paper. Never going to let that go. So now that he's in here, is this when we all ditch him? Right where you kind of want to be? Because I can't be attached from behind. Well, unless they go through a very specific system. Of put a cell booth there. You, that's what you do. But yeah, I honestly think that he's trying so hard to be a hero just to get his parents' attention. At least initially. Probably also doesn't necessarily understand what it would mean to 
No, probably not. He'd probably be one of those heroes who at first when the going gets super tough and his life might actually be on the line to save others, he probably would ditch. Possibly with the excuse of, well, I can't save other people if I die saving you. But he'll learn eventually, right? He'll learn the day he dies. Oh, wait. I'm not doing this hairstyle justice. It's not an easy one to draw, though. Did he drop out again? I don't know. And Squeak, he very well could have actually tried the villain route and just didn't like how it made him feel. He might have tried the bully route At first, before he even had his powers, and didn't like how it it it, it felt. Because not everyone necessarily has the uh, guts to be a villain. Lack of empathy. Hmm. Usually. Shall we just move down to the uh, Monster Hunter? Is that what you want us to do? See you there. Then you don't have to keep reconnecting, disconnecting, and reconnecting. And Bye-bye. Ba doom, ba doom, ba doom, ba doom. You can speak now, right? I do not know. Well, I, I can do it. I know how to do it. I can do this. What was I doing again? Just so if anyone else is here and they wish to. Though I'm probably getting close to wrapping up soon. The wife's already in bed. I probably should be going to bed soon myself. But I'm like not tired. I'm wide awake when I should be sleeping. And I'm, I'm exhausted when I should be wide awake. And I'm going to guess it has to do with my meds because my meds can do that. So bad for me as a player, good for the galaxy as a whole, but um, a, a thing called the mass extinction event time. Mm -hmm. I have to see a bunch of different planets for my go dead. Or what? I might go dead. If you don't kill off planets?
So what do you think of how this character's been looking so far? Anyone in general. Still don't like that face, but... The bottom one? The one right here. The first one I drew. Something about it bugs me. Huh? Something bugs me about it. I don't know why. Of course, for the camera, I should be... Artist. Own worst uh, critic. Own worst critic. So I've been at this for two and a half hours. Does not feel like it's been that long. I actually want to start working on drawing my own comic. Not bad. But I would need to um, come up with a storyline, individual panel work, yada yada. I have two in my head right now. Potentially could use a team, yeah, yeah. Everyone else, like seems to like Omega's work better than mine, though. Me. Mm. I think that helps to determine that it's it's actually hair with the flow. There's a few random lines. No, I should probably do it where a dark streak would probably appear. Oh well. And the only reason I'm calling him Halo is because he produces a halo of light. But yeah, I was actually halfway tempted to actually make him um, with dark skin instead. All right, so the dark and light. <laughs> but I kind of figured that powers that they acquire seem to match their personalities. Could literally just be kind of a mutant thing. I'm also saying just with the amount of like anything can happen. Mm -hmm. The way the, the creators of Sentinel Comics put it, um, yes, they have their own, they, they have their universe, they have their canon, but they built them both to be more building blocks for other people who are playing their game. You change whatever you want, anything. You want. It could be an accident. He fell into a vat of chemicals. Um, it. Where he just one day he didn't have powers, the next day, whoops, I'm a light bulb. I'm a living light bulb. Someone turn down the lights, please. I want to sleep. Oh, wait, wait, that's me. <laughs> mm. Um, it could be the Omega particle, it could be an oblivion shard. For all we know, it could be innate natural magic. Just saying. I mean, it could also be technology. For all we know, that he could be a, a jock that's actually a super genius and made integrated nanites into his body or something. I, pff, unlikely, but... Huh? I said nano machine, son. I don't know. I'm just spitting stuff out. <laughs> Who knows? He could be an android for all we know. But then I'm pretty sure why would his parents ignore him at that point? He'd be their crowning jewel of achievement. Showing them off every chance they can. I have the feeling that his parents probably had the belief of kids should be uh, 
seen, not heard. But then they, why would they not have noticed his piercing years later? <laughs> or who knows how long later? Said it was a dare to get the piercings to see if his parents would notice. They still haven't noticed. <laughs> and it's not like they're hidden. I just want to do something different, hence the piercings. But imagine if in the middle of a fight, one of those gets ripped out. Ouch. <laughs> I will give you all the ideas. I don't know if I told you, but I kind of like the idea of doing this horror game where everybody is a human species. Like, essentially, humans like spread out of the galaxy a long time ago, but something happened. You know, 40 years and all these mm -hmm. colonies now. I remember Tom Joe and I were talking about that. That actually could be kind of fun. Let's see how tech industries, uh, or tech corp, yeah, the tech would uh inter inter interact with everyone, right? SUNY Engineering uh, Corporation. Tech's also the name of my uh, YouTube channel. If I could change it, it'd be th well, it'd be tech to SUNY Entertainment Channel. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Because it works. <laughs> but unfortunately, I think I'd have to change my entire Google account to get that. And it's like, uh, not really that fond of changing my entire Google account name just to change my YouTube name at this point. I should be able to. It's a YouTube account. I mean, you want something catchy. Not your user name and that's it. Especially seeing as I just realized, oh, Google lets me have an account for free. Let's use it now. Must resist giving him freckles. <laughs> Uh, he probably would still be classified as innocent. He's just flamboyant. Tension seeking. But I see him as a bit of a troublemaker. Not like necessarily seeking out trouble and but always finding trouble. Right. Always ending up in trouble somehow. I still have room to do my other idea. I actually like how these two came out. This head came out too squished. The face should be thicker, taller. Face should go up to here. I'm currently thinking if I should do another two more emote things with the face at a different angle. Or do I want to try doing the superhero costume? I think the superhero costume just should be outright on another piece of paper. Yeah, then you could also have like the whole... Multiple suits. And all the gear pulled to the side. Like for all I know, he might have focusing apparatuses on his hands. Giant magnifying lenses. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just giving randomness. I 
And I could see the villain's insult. What what are you gonna do, light bulb? <laughs> right, maybe. That's a good that's a good one. You're welcome. I'm my own worst enemy, aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> Ow. Mm. I probably should wrap this up now that we all moved over to your server, right? Yeah. As I said, I'll just have to make my own server and just have an open invite to my YouTube channel. Just like put it as a first live chat comment as a link. And maybe post it every now and again. I, I am listening. I'm just reading stuff as well. Oh no, you're fine. I don't know if I want to be fanatic xenophiles or fanatic egalitarians. What is it that's not all bad? So they added a trait or a civic in the government part of Stellaris called shared burdens. Mm -hmm. Which you can you can only take it if you're fanatic egalitarian. Um it allows the sh you know how you can set the living standard of the people? Mm -hmm. It gives you the living standard shared burden, under which all popular all all of the pops, all of the units in your in your empire, uh use a moderate amount of consumer goods regardless of where they are in the strata like if they're upper class or specialists or whatever um it gives you uh, plus five stability and it reduces the t or increases the time before a pop is demoted so normally you go from like upper class and then if you're unemployed you go to lower class and then you go to like you know whatever it, re it increases the amount of time um in between those things So you have more time to basically react when things go wrong. Because everyone is working to help everybody else. So you're a socialist. I'm definitely really. Consumer good, but you also get ha uh, higher happiness as a result. Oh, I didn't even notice that this channel was here. No, the Hunter's text. Yeah, you asked me for a text channel for this, so I call it <laughs> uh, Hunter's text only and Nathan, I guess. <laughs> no unemployment ever. No work. I don't. I don't know what to name myself.
Soggin. Nope, not happening. We're jealous. Well, I, I, whenever I name my homeworld, I tend to look at the planet names of the on the name list that I pick. Well, fine, be that way. Also on the list, but I probably would have gotten for more mountains. That's if you use human uh, mythology for it. And mythology could have changed over the eons. Because you did say that this was a human race, did you not? I'm drawing this hand too small, but I don't care. I want to choose red as my primary color, but it's just to make my ship look more evil than I want it to be. Yeah, this hand should be like this big. Actually, should be bigger than that. What you mean that this also, um? And one of them is just straight up the, the, the Soviet Russian hammer and sickle. <laughs> you know, there'd be people who would want to. I would say it's history. Shouldn't ignore it. Because people who ignore or try to hide history... It usually causes more troubles than it's worth. Actually, that's too far. There we go. Had to adjust my eraser. I don't know why I'm working on the thumbs up part when I haven't even finished the face yet. You know, the thing behind the hand. <sighs> Yeah, totally. That 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 works. I'm more of the Star Trek socialism. Where money's not necessarily that big of a thing. Yeah. It still exists, but it's not like the end all be all. What they can afford. Right. Yeah, next time I'll have a server, Discord server for this. If you're actually on the channel, it won't tell you when someone posts. If you leave the channel, then it, it should, but it's so new it might not. Sometimes it doesn't. Yeah, if, you, if you click away, it'll give you a notification, basically. You know, he called me a social democrat, and I was about to make a joke about Bernie, but I gotta say, I gotta applaud Bernie, because uh, if you go to his website, he used to have a thing that's like, you know, fundraise for my campaign, you know, as politicians do. But ever since this coronavirus outbreak changed, he's basically, he, he's taken away the option of donating to him and said that if you were going to, you should instead go to one of these charities that are going to try and help 
uh, with the situation. Uh, I'm sorry, but I need monies. <laughs> I actually w really would like my YouTube channel to get good enough and big enough that I could start making money off of it or set up a donation thing because I have no job. I'd be earning it by, you know, making the videos and stuff. Technically, I'm earning YouTube money. Too obnoxious. It's almost a pink than a red. <sighs> kind of like my space engineers. It's supposed to be a dark purple, and somehow over time it ended up being this light purple, even though I've never changed it. I don't know. Thing is, that might just give those who who had tax returns filed a thousand bucks. I didn't. Hmm. Did you do any in 20, 2018? I filed a tax return, but I had nothing to give them for information because I hadn't worked all year. But we joint filed, so technically, I didn't need to file. No work, no need to file, but it's still good to file for nothing, you know. Did you at least file something, Squeak? Recent tax season, would that have been considered 2019? Um, taxes were when are taxes actually due? Uh, like April, I think. Then they might be going on last year's taxes. Because of my age and the amount of money I earn, they consider me, uh, they don't, they no longer let my parents play me as a dependent. And because of that, I technically qualify for uh, the stimulus package that's going through. I really probably shouldn't have drawn the hair first, but I draw what I feel like. Leave me alone. Well, and stop pestering me for, you know, drawing the hair first, rather than finishing the eyes. Uh, the system did not help your brother too much. Mm hmm He was talking about what happened. Not, uh, not the... <laughs> Don't worry, that's why I made my space communist, because they wouldn't leave you to that like that. You probably should at least, I believe you can still file with no income. Hmm? He, wouldn't have, he wouldn't have gotten a W-2 to file. You just write down zero for everything.
There, now we have happy one. Rather than sneering. Never smile. Hmm? I said always sneer, never smile. Actually, that's off. I don't know what you're talking about. I did not do that. He's going from here. Adam's apple. His neck is not twisted. I thought of an alter ego name for him, I just realized. Um Halo? Master Chief! Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Though is it sad that I'm thinking about actually having his last name as Masters? Hmm. On Masters, so that way his like his uh, Master Chief's real name is John. By the fact. I actually could. I have no knowledge of Halo. It would probably be Jonathan, but most people would probably call him John. Okay, time to mute him. Kick him from the group. What did he say? Oh. What's illegal? And I actually drew his torso way too small here. I have no idea what Squeak's going on about. I think he's just squeaking pathetically in the background right now. Don't you hear that too? That pathetic squeak, squeak, squeak. I think he wants a cheese handout. Ah. Hey, we are supposed to keep this channel at least somewhat clean. Well, it's a good thing that net people can't read the Discord, huh? I just can't read it, so. Oh. That explains everything. I mean, you poor soul. Wait, people can read? Yeah, this specific chat, maybe. But I don't want that on my YouTube. You can type whatever you want in the Discord. Hmm? Yeah. Nope. Oh, I, I don't remember ever seeing a live stream like, like 
done when it was done. If you checked my channel, that you should see one already. You know I don't watch my friend's stuff. Hmm. I have one that's unlisted. Yeah, I was told to do it on on Twitch, but I figured that would get deleted, so I figured YouTube might be better. <laughs> So let's put a nice flowing cape on him. No cape! <laughs> no, no. They used they had a, a rash where they were taking down videos with any kind of music in it. And then they backed off after a while because they realized that it's too easy. It the the unless the video is about the music and only the music, it's like it's background noise. shared burdens ethic in, in Solaris, they give you the communal housing option, which is a block of uniform housing equal in every way. All it does is give you some housing and then amenities. Just randomness at this point. Yeah, he'd be wearing border shorts. Mm. 
Not even near gravity affecting them, but whatever. You know what? Here we go. Water. We water effects. He's in a pool. Shut up. Leave me alone. That's what I'm doing. He's in a pool. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just doing randomness. Does it matter? Yeah, I see where you're going with that. Does it make your teeth hurt every time? I don't get the shorthand you guys keep doing. <laughs> ASMR? Yeah. Not before? No. It's like, it's, it's this trend of making those uh, videos online that have like sounds in them that make you like, give you like the, the tingles in the back of your head. Oh, it stands for auditory sensory meridian response, I think. I don't know what it's for. Yeah, actually, it's for this, bro. Satisfying thing to do in Solaris is actually fulfilling your leader's mandate, so you can live out the fantasy of your politics. There we go. I have an assortment of uh, expressions, at least. I actually have something that's a 25 expression challenge, but I'm not going to do that on this guy. Not right now, at least.
You guys have been talking while my I haven't been looking at the screen. Yeah, I need to be heading to bed, too. It's 1 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> well, anyways, I should at least show my final project to the camera. Once it's done brightening and darkening. And I should click onto the right thing so I can make sure it's visible. I know there's issues. I really don't care. Is that straight? The pool? Eh, it takes a lot of practice, and even I don't do very well with perspective sometimes. So, it's tricky. Yeah, perspective is annoying. <laughs> So I will end my stream there. You guys will have to tell me if I actually end it. So see everyone later.